Well, we're at Eugenana, near an Arboretum, and I'm just saying to the to the video that Peter Cundall says that the, the worst of the wet is over. And it's raining this morning, and every time he looks out his door, the green shocks him. It's so green. We've experienced the same. We've got a, our own private little toilet next door in the shower, a little log covered cubicle. A little warning sign there so we don't walk into our many guy ropes. We've got an abandoned caravan there that's full of paint tins next door. This is where we'll stay a few days. We'll use it as a base to do Cradle Lake and such. Hopefully it'll stop raining. And we're out of the wind here. We've driven down from the coast inland, only 10k from Devonport. And there's a large arboretum next door somewhere, and a large natural lake. That's the office. We've well, even got a phone just nearby, we can phone home. Good morning, Nine. She indoors. You've got that thing that you have on your eye again. Meanwhile, outside, he's mowing his arboretum. Well, it's 11, nearly 11.30, we're heading off. We picked up a bit of gravel on some of the bush tracks we've been bouncing along. We'll go down and have a look at Sheffield. This is one of the few tunnels of trees we've come across. Lots of radiata. <laughs> come to say hello. Either the cows come to say hello or the horses come to say hello. We have yet to see a donkey mining the bulls yet. Just pulled into Sheffield and have a little cruise around looking at their murals. Must have been a print shop just here somewhere. They're very skillful. And we had a good chat with a lady in there about maps and brochures and how to make a better map and long enough for the sun to come out to light up the murals. They have dozens of murals in town but I'm not sure whether we'll photograph all of them. sound in the restaurant but now they're doing Bob Marley. Just thought I'd film a local mural. That's where we had lunch at the Highlander restaurant. Even they have a mural. That's Mount Rowland from Sheffield. The local pedestrians here. Just in the main street. So where can we buy some? <laughs> no, we don't. But where they come from, they eat them. We get angry. Yeah. Yeah, no, she's very well behaved. Yeah. Gorgeous. And... and donations are probably for the upkeep. Uh, 
Yeah. 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 The souvenirs they come across in these exotic locations were often made in their hometown. Uh, Might even get him. Beijing there, you know, the beginning of his reign. Mm -hmm. And uh, when he died and, uh, and, and, and were replaced by a different clan or something, they'd have to change the name, but they'd always keep the old one. The one just in case. <laughs> to lead search parties for people who got lost in at Cradle Mountain, you see. Historical figure, and there's a reflection of the policeman. So it's very slight and small. There it goes. Yeah. Oh, and she's painted all the prizes. Yeah. Um, yeah. 330 kV power lines. We had to hunt around a little bit to get a shot without the power lines and with the sun. We're just looking for Lake Barrington where they go rowing. And make power. We're underneath these huge power lines which go all over Tasmania from one power station to another. And as you can see, they're actually crisscrossing here. Little ones going over the big ones. Another brand new Telstra telephone box at Roland. This is a Roland Railway. That was sponsored by the last railway driver family. And 
when the railway came along here we just drove over it and um, all these lovely little houses and horses make it rolling and there was a railway station there with Mount Roland in the background and there's the, the mural they had a passenger service from Railton to Roland the motor towed one I think at one stage closed in 1957 and had a steam one before that Railway siding must have been about there. Great idea. Staying a bit in the string. Making it very picturesque. descended to Lake Barrington we couldn't have asked for better weather we come down to this international rowing lake and this is where they hang out all their skulls and all these racks the alarm goes off here at nine o'clock so we have to get out up the hill we've descended I'll check it 100 metres or so, three and a half kilometres of winding road and this is the, the boat shed with all, all the awards there's even a lodge up behind as well we have the place to ourselves it's very peaceful and the, the weather is superb It's all the instructions for where they have to train. There's the layout of the course. Now the whole lake is used. I read there's an ideal length of lake and sheltered from the, the wind, so it's a great spot for training. And now we're wandering up around the hills, back past rolling just following these lovely little windy roads and nowhere else and no one else is around much no. nowhere else is just up here. and this is approaching a place called nowhere else We've left nowhere else and now we've come down to the Devil's Dam. Here's your power line marching up. I'm just adjusting the rattling lens cap. These are part of the power lines that mar the countryside and all the views of all the hills and Mount, uh, whatever it's called again, Roland. The power line. Colour balance is changing here because everything's so green. And the green is affecting the colour balance. Looking round down to the dam here now. Dam's down there.
the wind's coming up the valley and getting behind the, the double curvature concrete dam and blowing the, the water outwards. Could be very, very spectacular in a strong wind. Better sleep. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. How, how, do you want to get more or something? Right. Okay. And is that going to be enough? Just sitting on top of a hill, we're on the way back to the caravan parks. The first time we've, we've we're within line of sight of um, Devonport. Um, so, but we go down into Valley and then back to the caravan park in a second. We've been out looking around and it rained until about, what, four o'clock, Bill? Wasn't it? Yeah. A bit after four. Um, and then all of a sudden, all the clouds cleared. And it's been absolutely brilliant. There's now the only cloud in the sky is just over the. Um... Well, we've headed down to Cradle Mountain. We're still. The battery went flat. We're just heading off down to Cradle Mountain. We've got about 50k to go. We got a bit bushed up around all these winding roads. We're just at a scenic lookout, which looks across to. Roland, Mount Roland, again. That's looking over to the Western Tiers past Mount Roland. We have some noisy cattle. On the right end of Mount Roland. Do you want me to point them out to you? Oh, well, that's all the... You can actually see Cradle now. And this is from the Information Centre. We're going to drive up towards the car park. Double Lake. There's Crater Mountain. Oh, it's just starting with a sign. There goes the track. Land tracks running along beside us. We're on the road going from the visitor centre out to Dove Lake Car Park. Mm, day walkers and
a, a boost. Very stony, and a lot of uh, material being moved around for the track. This is going up the, the side ridge, up the Lake Rodway track. A large car park, back there we left Smokey. They should have put it around the corner a bit so it doesn't muck up views like this. The sign said steep and rough back there. It's steep, it's solid. Nice little scree slope here. Up at 45 degrees. Fabulous uh, rocky dolomite. Was it dolomite or? Dolorite. 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 There's lots of quartzites here and a bit of uh, granite intrusion. A little souvenir to carry back. Very sparkly rock. We're at 1,050 metres and done 1.5k from down there. And move a few big rocks to make the track. I'll take a few shots before the sun disappears. There's Lake Hanson. We continue on around here. She's gone over the edge now. There she goes. This would have been buried under hundreds of metres of ice and have flowed through this saddle. And you can see how it's dragged across the surface of these rocks here into Lake Hanson on the right. We've got dozens of steps going up on this side. A lot of work. Sheltering out of the wind, cold here, nearly caught up in the Go straight up past the, the odd branch, and here's a steep bit of the chains. That's looking up at 60 degrees. Going up Uluru, there she goes. And 
this is a bright green pine here beautiful against the black Hanson's Lake Crusted Jeru Jerusalem's walls and our lunch spot. We didn't have to feed him. No, we got We're right up the top.